Right guys, so today is the day that brass monkeys are coming up to the Highlands. Brass monkeys supply ice baths, not just any ice baths, but the premium and the creme de la creme of ice baths. We've been very fortunate to be gifted one and we use it every day. It's a huge part of our daily routine. They have kindly agreed to come up to the Highlands and put on a mental health wellness day. Some breath work, we're going to do a fireside chat, we're going to do some cold water dips, it's open to the public. So yeah, really excited. Obviously, Tom, we went out to see the king of the ice himself, Wim Hof. We did some similar things, so obviously the breath work stuff, we did that. You excited for that today? I'm really looking forward to that. I didn't really believe it that much before I went to Wim Hof because obviously he is the expert at doing it. And when I went to him and experienced it, I was like, okay, this works and it changed my uh, mindset on breathing and stuff. So it was really cool to be out there and do it. But I'm looking forward to going down to Loch Inch and uh, giving it another bash and see what uh, the mystical mind can do again. <laughs> we are going to record the whole day. So hope you enjoy the video, guys. If you haven't tried it, look up Wim Hof instructors. They're, they're everywhere now. So if you want to try some breath work, there's plenty of information out there. Cold water, we have an abundance of it in the UK. So. If you're looking for something to help you find a little bit more joy, a little bit more wholesomeness in your life, try it and see what happens. But with that being said, enjoy the video, guys. We're really excited. We're going to drive down to Loch Inch and we'll see you down there. Five minutes. Because my story um, actually gives you an idea of how powerful this method, the Wim Hof method, can be. So it starts in 2020. I was diagnosed with testicular cancer for the second time. Quite rare to have testicular cancer twice. So I've lost both my testicles now. And when I was diagnosed, quickly, Natalie's parents were diagnosed with cancer as well. So I wanted to be strong for me, but also to be able to support Natalie through her journey with it. So I started the Off Method. I found his YouTube breath work, started doing the breath work, and immediately after the first sort of three rounds of that breath work, that YouTube, my mind felt a lot clearer. If I can do that in 11 to 15 minutes, that's brilliant. Maybe physically communicate with you to tell you how you're feeling. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, it's weird, Tom and I trained this morning and when I like, lay down on the floor and actually I feel quite tight and still, you know, muscles are still contorted, but see, at the end of it, oh, 
she's in like a nail the dice farm or something, that's what I feel. And I told him that my baby Brian actually you and like we'd be best friends since we eight, nine years old. So it's quite you know, a personal thing to do and like to think this is fing life. Just like my old life, it's so far different from like being from oil work, like the North Street or whatever else it is, to being here with all you guys, which is just fing mental but that is what my life is now. The last time, I don't know if I said, the last time I think we were here was with Mum as well. I remember being here with Mum, my dad's here in 2016, so like being here again is quite, you know, emotional and stuff, so it's just cool. It's just marvelous. And then the long shots where things, and looking out over that way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Being this little boy with autism and kind of like, you know, the gym for me was probably the biggest nightmare in the world. I mean, it's got mirrors, it's got, you know, big guys, it's got girls, it's got everything that makes an autistic person very uncomfortable. And then all of a sudden, like within a year, Tom said, you know, it's like really tough that year, but within a year he's deadlifting 300 kilos. He's going in like the strongest guy in the gym. I'm like, Jesus, this guy's mental, man. He's deadlifting 300 kilos. It took me about 10 years to do that. He's done it. This is insane. Tom, you're so strong. And then when I was competing, it was like, you know, you think I'm strong, I'm doing well, but wait till you see Tom coming, man. He's going to destroy everyone. He's going to be the GOAT. He's going to be the best ever. Um, and once you start speaking that, you manifest that. And like, no matter if Tom didn't believe it or not, it's just, it starts with that little bit of like words. You have to voice it, you have to put it out there. Like, I, I reflect a lot of the time, you know, especially the first World Solid Man, I think. For me, that was one of the most special ones because it was COVID. You know, I didn't have like my wife there, so I didn't have the normal people that was there, but I had Luke and yeah, it's just, it's nice to sit down sometimes at night time and, you know, the wife and just yeah. kind of talk and say, you know, like from this wee boy in Invergordon at nine, 10 years old to, 30 year old and you know one of the best strongmen in the world it's 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 a nice feeling to know that all this hard work dedication and sacrifice is worth it and strength is just being able to turn up and get shit done like on a, on a very basic level yeah, it's pretty good when you do stuff it's like you go to bed at night and like oh that's pretty cool i was pretty strong today i didn't feel like doing that this morning but you know i got up went in the cold water did my job smashed work today smashed my workout ate really good poor in bed oh let's see what tomorrow has and then you do the same again. Oh, great had major heart surgery, uh -huh. five and a half hours, so since then, oh, everything. Oh, you're talking about everything? Yeah. Wow. My grandson, the wedding, oh. and then tonight off, we went on a nice cream date, so yeah. Jeez, oh, I went to that's class. class. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Oof, that's smoky. He's deadlifting 160 kilos at 16, <laughs> did you know? Oh, that's nice, his biceps, man. Strong man in the making. Nice to see you. Okay, okay. bye, see you guys. <laughs> A 42-year-old child over here. <laughs> <laughs> see after, I'm just going to get a photo of the kids after. Everybody, when you come out of the water, warming up is a really important thing to do because you don't want to fall into feeling cold later on tonight or even into hypothermia. We, in the Wim Hof Method, use a horse dance. You might have seen it on TV or follow the method. Really activate into the quadriceps. It warms the body and we twist. You might want to use your voice. Hoo, ha, hoo, ha. All right, so we're going to go in that direction. Uh, no, jumped in the water, like, but not uh, not done this, so we'll see how we get on, like. Have you ever done any cold water? What's your surname? Never. Never first time. Never first time, yeah. Um, just going to go for it. See what happens. <laughs> first time, Shaz. First time. <laughs> we're all ready to go in, guys. Ready, guys. Don't be scared. I want to tell me why. Go, 
half the form of ice circle. <laughs> That's the most painful part, the stones. How was that for you? It's hugely warmer. Beautiful. Uh, beautiful. Good lads, them two. Beautiful. Quit while you're winning, though. <laughs> Quit while you're winning. Ooh, it's chilly. It's been an absolutely wonderful day, actually. Yeah, it's been amazing to meet the brothers. Um, we had a wonderful breathwork session together. That went really well. Um, and then the community that we've got here going on is incredible. The big dip and some of the words that the brothers have said when we were getting interviewed and talked about earlier were incredible. And the way they talk about mental health and the benefits of cold exposure. They're really doing good work. They're really helping people. And I think they're going to change, change a lot. They're definitely going to change how strong men are looked at and now, you know, our men are looked at and mental health, men's health and all that. So, yeah, they're doing great work. It's been a wonderful day. If anyone wondering what this marks are, I was out strimming in the garden and there's a weed up here, a hogweed, I think it was called, and I was strimming in my shorts and it sprayed all over me and it reacts. So you can see all these little marks everywhere. So it comes up in blusters. <laughs> it was, that was on Sunday. Anything for a tan. <laughs> So stupid, man. <laughs> so annoying. What's going on here? <laughs> you know, just a bit of, hot, just a bit of good old horse, Do you know what? Once you're in and you catch your breath, it's... I wanted to stay in. But the most amazing thing was just being in that with everybody else. I feel incredible. How about you, Gav? I feel amazing. After a triathlon at the weekend, aching muscles, and now feeling a bit looser. <laughs> so, ish. <laughs> Tad, looser. It was good, like, it was relaxing. Good for you, but a bit cold, a bit, a bit freezing, like. Yeah, we were, like, we were getting there, but we lasted, like, nine minutes, ten minutes. It was all right, it was all right. Because I want to be free beneath the sea. Yes, we'll see you again soon, right? Yeah, you look after yourself, right? <laughs> If some of the kids at the front want to sort of kneel down... Are we going to be on a series? Yeah. Let's yeah. be on Serial Hot. Yeah. 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 On YouTube. On Netflix. Put us on YouTube, please. Say cheese. Cheese. Now let's get one of flexing guns. Let's see it. Tom. Go on, Tom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we've done.